Hey, you're back with Steve Rode and Damon Day on the Penny Stupid Podcast, and that guy, Damon Day, has had the most incredible day that he's ever had on Amazon FBA, right? That's a, that, that's an honest statement to say. It, it is. <laughs> so, Damon, tell us about the big news today. I made my first sale. <laughs> I sold one of the printers, I bought six. Already, I, I couldn't even believe it. I had to call Steve because I'm still learning the software. And I open it up, the uh, Seller Central, right? And it says uh, sales today, $400 yep. $445. And I was like, I literally just boxed up these printers and mailed Did them. Did I sell something? Ha- <laughs> yeah. I, I just mailed them to Amazon on Monday. Today's Thursday. Yeah. And, and I, yeah. you said it would take probably like, you know, a week, week and a half, two weeks, you know, to get in the system and get listed and all that stuff. So I'm like, I got to be looking at something wrong here. What's going on? So I call Steve and he's like, click this, click that. Yep. You made a sale. So it only took, what, four days to sell the first printer. And I made a profit of $159, you know, on one printer. Them off. on one printer. And they, there's still yep. five left uh, in Amazon. And... It was just, it was awesome. I was like, holy shit, that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. the hard part is, you know, finding the right product to buy, making sure that all the numbers and data add, add up, and then getting your hands on it, getting it all prepped and ready to go, and into Amazon, and making sure it's priced right. Now, we did price your printer at the lower end of of the spectrum there, but... Yeah. The next fulfilled by Amazon seller, I think, was like a hundred dollars more than you, and the rest of the gap was all filled by fulfilled by merchant. And the key here is that we we didn't price, and, and there are some people below you too. So you weren't the cheapest, but you were the least expensive. I, uh, f- I was the fulfilled by FBA. Amazon. Yeah, yes, FBA, you were the cheapest, cheapest FBA. FBA, and we did that on purpose because. We wanted to move these printers so that you could get your money back out and buy more products. So I, yeah. I feel really good. I went to the printer listing on Amazon and I looked at it and it has your store name, your company name there. And it says that you've got uh, four more ready to sell right now. And I wouldn't be surprised because in order for you to make that sale, you had to wind up in the buy box. Uh, and you know what that is, right? The buy box is... The thing on the side of the page says buy now, and it, it's it's almost like the best place to bury a dead body is on the second page of Google. Well, <laughs> <laughs> the, the best place, place to bury a product that's not going to sell is not in the buy box. Buy box yeah. is where sales get made. So you were priced right in order for you to appear in the buy box, and somebody pushed that button and bought that printer. So yeah, worked exactly so- as we planned. So now the question is, um, you know, this is what you struggle with, right? Are we a little underpriced? Should we bump it up? No. Should we not mess with success no. and just leave it there? Clear out Let those six? Make, make your, because I, I profited after fees and everything, $159, right? That's yeah. what, that's what's going to be. Well, technically I'm going to get a lot more than 159 coming back to me for that, but then you got to subtract the yes. 20, you know, I spent. So profit wise, it's going to be $159 and I've got five more. Amazon says they've got four more ready to sell, but that fifth one is probably yep. the second package I sent, right? And it's probably just about ready to get. So when the, if all six of those, well, one of them sold, if the other five sell, and assuming we don't get any returns, um, that's $954, right? Profit, yes. not sales, profit, $954 profit. And remember, yes. I also made $270 driving around to the different <laughs> office supply stores um, to pick those things up. So I'm going to, I'm going to end up with this little first product experiment over $1,100 in profit when it's yep. all said and done, if these things sell and I'm hooked on Amazon FBA, I'm a believer. <laughs> I like it. So now Steve mentioned the hardest part uh, is, you know, finding the right products, uh, you know, sourcing those. And luckily for me, Steve did all that shit for me. So he did the hard part. <laughs> I just, I, well, he just said, drive, you know drive why, here and get that. Drive here and get those. Yeah, well, now, said, you, okay. now you know why I, I called you 
and said, wake your ass up. You need to go buy these right now because they were a guaranteed gold mine. Yeah, and just in case you think maybe I'm a leech in this process, I saved your ass, Steve, didn't I? On another uh, you, another you product. Went a, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. Why don't you tell the story of how I saved you the experience. The rookie saved the expert. How's that? Yeah, how did the well, rookie save the expert? This is stuff that's going to happen to you, too. So when you're buying stuff to sell on Amazon, you've got to make sure it's the same product and it's everything's right on it. In this particular case, um, I bought, they were command hooks, you know, the kind of things you stick on the wall and you can peel off. Well, the listing on Amazon where it had the dimensions and the weight of, of the item had it for one, which is what I saw. So it's a, and believe me, the prices on Amazon can be way high sometimes. And there are <laughs> just like the profit you made on that printer. But you you caught on that listing, it said it was for a pack of six. And I missed that. So I've already returned and got my money back. So thank you for that. Yeah. But listen, you you will make many of these mistakes yourself. Yeah, well, Steve was Steve was short on details, shmeetails on that one, but he sent me another link and said, Here's your second product. He almost wrote mm -hmm. me into this one. And he could source these command hooks. Uh, an office supply store for it was like five twenty nine something like that, right? Yeah. Five bucks, and then they're selling on Amazon for twenty eight dollars, right? And so he it's bought, not unusual. You bought, what, you bought twenty of them, right? Yeah. And and I was going to buy a, a lot more than that too because I was like, wow, that's a hell of a deal. But I kept looking at that, going, these are stupid plastic command hooks. Who in their right damn mind is going to buy one, even though it was a big one, for twenty eight dollars? I was just like. And it took me a day to catch it because I wasn't, you know, I was just like, well, I, I didn't buy them. But the next day when I went to buy them, I'm looking at the Amazon listing going, this, people are really buying these for $28. This is dumb. And then I'm looking at it and I'm like, it says pack of six. And I was like, oh, shit, they're buying six of those for $28. Steve's buying them for like five bucks a piece. Six is going to be $30. He's going to get hosed. So I call him and, and, and luckily I figured that out before... He got his shipment, and, and you would have figured it out, I think, as you were, right? Like, as I was boxing it up. Prepping them and listing them, I would have figured it out. But, hey, that's not yeah. even th – that's a one-for-one one, uh, price markup on Amazon is not unusual. I mean, I bought furniture pad things that go under chairs, you know, the little felt things. Yeah. I paid seven ninety five for those. They sold for $52. <laughs> so What do you always say? I, you know, Don't ask me why people do what they do. Yeah. I, I don't know. That was the going price. I didn't make up the price. That was the going price. But I sourced them very well. I found them on sale. Uh, I bought all those at a clearance. And so that happens sometimes. So yeah. a discrepancy so. between $5 and $25 or whatever it was is, is not that unusual. What is very difficult is in the heat of the, the moment, making sure that you've checked all the fine print, the UPCs, you know, the the weight, yeah. the size, and everything else. It, the devil is happens. definitely in the details with with this with this business. And uh, what do they say? Measure twice, cut once. It's kind of the same <laughs> yeah. concept before you click to buy. But luckily, we caught it, and you didn't even open the box. You got the box. In no, the I just took it right back. Just, yeah, you just drove it back. It drove it to one of the local stores, the office supply store. Yep. And here you go. I'm returning. <laughs> Well, in fact, I've got another box from the same office supply chain that arrived today that I have to drive back and return because, Why? interesting story, because um, I found these uh, first aid kits. And so the items that go in the first aid kits, I found a really good deal on, uh, I don't even know what it is exactly. It's something that goes in the first aid kit. So, in fact, I was so excited about how good of this deal was. I contacted the manufacturer and started talking to them about wholesale relationships. And they sent me the wholesale price list, and there are a lot of good deals on there. I got a phone call from them this afternoon, about an hour ago, and it, <laughs> it was a representative of the company. And they said, uh, I didn't want to put this in an email, but you can't sell our products on Amazon because we were just fined a million dollars for some 
product packaging issue and we're not allowing anyone to list these things on Amazon. I never would have known if I hadn't had that phone call. So yeah. you believe me, I am not listing these things. I'm driving them right back to the office supply store and getting my money back. Yeah. So there's definitely a lot of potential landmines and pitfalls out there. So subscribe yes. to the freaking channel, like the video. <laughs> I've got these six printers out there. We've already sold one within four days. I'll keep everybody updated on how these other things do, but the sales are starting to go faster than Steve's teaching me. So when I called him and I said, well, how much profit did I make? Cause I couldn't figure out how to know how much profit I made. He had to look it up because I don't have the software yet that he uses, right. To show me right. what kind of, what kind of profit. So that'll be our next step is, and I'm, I'm also still currently in the midst of figuring out the, the sales tax exemptions and all that stuff too. So we'll be putting all that on YouTube as I'm, as I'm figuring it out. So if you want to follow along and learn how to do this stuff um, and watch, you know, Steve fall on his face and hopefully learn the lesson. So I don't fall on my face, but uh, you know, subscribe, follow along and you'll also get Steve falling on his face and then maybe me falling on my face as well. <laughs> so you get to two, two buffer layers of stupidity before it gets to you. So hopefully you don't end up making any of the mistakes that we're making and it's just all smooth sailing and profit for you. So subscribe. Well, not, it's worth it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, ring the bell. Like the video. Uh, apparently, out of everything, liking the video is the most important thing that you can do for us because it tells the Google, uh, the YouTube algorithm that uh, you're okay. You like us. And somebody else should watch, this, watch the video, too. So please like the video. Uh, Send it there to the internet. Is, yeah, there's, there's never a shortage of things that's going to get you. Uh, yesterday, I returned some uh, game controller things that I had purchased, and the the picture online was of the game controller in the manufacturer's box, and it was very pretty and everything. What I got in the mail was a bag full of just like used game controllers, and so I contacted them and went, eh, no. And here's what they said. Um, the picture on the website is for reference only and doesn't represent the product. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> it, 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 no, it doesn't work like that. But in looking at all the fine detail, one of the things that I always look at is to make sure that whatever I purchase and where I purchase it, uh, I have got a third party involved. So in case there's an issue, I can get a refund. I noticed today on walmart.com, I was looking at something from a third party. And when you read down in the fine print, the description of the product, way down in that fine print, it says no returns accepted. So I missed the command hook thing. That is the least of the things that you're going to miss, Damon. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you, did you not buy that shortage. product? Did you not buy that product that said no returns accepted? No, that was today. I did not buy that product. Oh, well, tell everybody what you've told me where you're at so far today in sales. I am $2,275 in sales today. Have you been kind of keeping track of where you're at? January, we're January 26th. January is almost over. Where are you and at I for January? You, I can tell you exactly. I just need yeah. to... I called him up all excited about my $150 profit today. And he goes, oh, yeah? Well, just today I made $2,000. i am like, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> all shut right. Up. So last month, my profit was $2,900, I believe. Yeah. And that's profit, and, uh, not, not sales. That's profit. Yeah. This month, right now, as of today, I'm over $8,000. Profit? You're over eight. Fuck me running. Shit. <laughs> Dude, I mean, hey, I, I mean, I like driving and stuff, but shit. <laughs> I ain't making no eight. <laughs> I didn't have to clean out the back seat either. <laughs> oh, man, I'm going to have to take the Tesla back. I'm not going to need it anymore. Actually, <laughs> actually well, you'll I'll have to take it back. I like it. I like it. Yeah. You'll use it to go pick up your supplies. Oh, yeah. I'll use it to do my office supply runs. I actually kind of like that. If you can find me more local sort, you know, I looked, I think I told you, right. I looked and other States to see if there was any other, cause those yeah. printers were such a good deal. I only found two in Northern California and one in Utah. 
And yeah. so I don't know yeah. if they were just Good clearing deals like those this. out. Go fast. Yeah. That's I, why I, I mean, called you to wake you up. Hey, we got seven of them between you got one and I got six between the two yeah. of us. We got we cleaned out Phoenix. We cleaned out the whole valley. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tried to get two, but in the time that whole fiasco of ordering them and all that, I lost one. Somebody else bought it. So some, yeah, some you have to act fast. Across a gym. Yeah. So let's talk so, about the next pieces of software that you're going to have to to get. Uh, okay. The first one is a product called Source Mogul. And sourcemogul.com. I have already done a video of that on our channel. And Source Mogul is the very first piece of software that I used to help locate products to buy. So I'm gonna you're gonna have to get that. There's the free trial period or something. I, I would give you my referral link, but dude, I'm not into all of that stuff. I don't care. Go to Source Mogul why, directly. Why hmm? not? Money is money. What's the referral link? Put it. Put it in the. All right. Put it in the notes. I'll put it, put it in the description. Notes. Yeah. Pin a comment. Yeah. And, see, get, and, what, what is it? A couple bucks. How much is the software? Like forty bucks a month or something? Like no, it's probably like eighty nine. A month. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, that's not even the most expensive piece of software I, I use. So. You're uh, killing me, Smalls. See. Oh, I probably spend six hundred dollars a month on software. Um, monthly special well, yeah, offer. Yeah, but let's put that in context. Also, you also profited eight grand this yeah. month. So, yeah. you know, and you, you can build up to this. You don't just go out and you get all the, I mean, I've already got those six printers for sale without, I don't even have any software yet. So, okay, I yeah. take my 159 that I just profited and then I can pay, get the free trial and pay for the 90 bucks for the source mogul or whatever and get a whole bunch more products. So, don't get all this stuff if you're not going to do it, but if you're going to be doing right. it and making money, then these things are worth it because of the time it's going to save you, the money it's going to save you, and the potential mistakes it's going to prevent you from making. Yeah, uh, and I have been through a bunch of other pieces of software, and I have ruled them out, but this is the path that I followed, and so this is the, the path I'd like for you to follow too. Apparently now with Source Mogul, it's uh, $97 a month, but the first three months you get thirty bucks off, and there's a free trial okay. period. I don't know, probably a couple of weeks or something. Anyway, uh, I will put the referral link. Please, nobody feel like you have to click on it. Uh, if you do click on it, click on it. It helps buy me a cup of coffee or something like that. So I, I appreciate that. Uh, and also, again, the video of how to register Source Mogul and get started. It's on our channel. And you can uh, watch that. The next piece hey, of software. Hmm? Real quick. Maybe you should put the referral link on that other source mogul video you already did. I'm sure you didn't do that. Ah, no, I didn't do that. I'll post it in the comment as well. Go pin a comment. We're learning how to be YouTubers. <laughs> go, <laughs> go pin a comment. <laughs> this is what the YouTubers do. <laughs> yeah, they do a whole bunch of other stuff too, like make really cool thumbnails and all that other stuff. Hey, no. hey, we're almost at 300 subscribers. That's not bad. That's that's pretty good. All right, yeah. the next two pieces of software you're going to get are Keepa, K E E P A, and Keepa your money, a Chrome extension that uh, when you go to an Amazon page, it'll show you the sales history, the sales price. You can also see what the product sells for in new and used condition, uh, and that's critical to, for to telling you does this thing even really sell. And the third piece of software is Seller Amp. And seller amp. Well, hold well, hold on. Hmm? How much is the Keepa extension? Is that free, or do you got to pay for that, dude? In this line of business, <laughs> nothing is free. Hey, if we're gonna tell people, hey, look at this, look at this, I got to tell them, well, how much is this gonna cost? You know? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Information. Um, I am logged in. So can you go to uh, K-E-E-P-A dot com and see if they have a... Uh, Keepa your money. Let me Keepa. see. K-E-E-P-A dot com. Keepa. Yeah. This is the leading it, uh, piece of screening software. Uh, price history charts, blah, 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 blah. Premium access da data. Uh, do you have a link that says pricing, please? Uh, login register. Um, it, it, 
It's I'm, not much. It's oh, not it's much. not? Okay. It's no. not 90 bucks a month? No, no. And Seller Amp, which is that piece of software that shows you who's on the listing, how much it's being, they're selling it for, uh, and it gives you just a tremendous amount of other data. That is the piece of software that I use to tell me instantly uh, at this sales price and at this acquisition price, what's my profit going to be? So that's what I just used to figure that out for you. And that piece of software is uh, nineteen ninety five a month. And okay. It, I found Keepa. So Keepa has a free, there's a free version, right? And then you can you okay. know, price sign up for free and it'll tell you what I, yeah, you Yeah, I started with the get. free version. Yeah. And then the subscription is uh, 19 pounds a month. So whatever the hell that is. Yeah, uh, 25 bucks, something, 26, somewhere in there. But, they, you they, know, the... Hmm? They fluck you in the conversion. Yeah, <laughs> flucked again. <laughs> They're flucked again. All right. But, so, but so wait here's a minute. Big, so that's... Hmm? What? Come on. Okay, so... $100, 140 It's about 140 bucks, somewhere around there. What's 140 bucks? The The total of the subscriptions. Yeah, but you were saying you spend like 600 So is that more advanced software that we're not going to talk about yet? Mm-mm. So might make my eyes like glaze over? Too much It'll software. make you walk away. Yeah. Uh-oh. It'll make you walk away. <laughs> maybe. Maybe I should know this going into it. But now $8,000 mm. keeps me in the game, baby. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this, is a, this is a kind of winner-take-all type of proposition. And... Selling on Amazon and making money. There are lots of people out there that have tried Amazon and failed and fell right on their face and lost a lot of money. But Damon, you know me. I like to approach things very strategically with a plan, take little steps, walking towards success. This is how I did it. And I have proven that this, this works. It might not work for everybody. They might not do the research, examine the product you know, source it correctly, all that other stuff. This is how I did it. And so this is how yeah. I'm teaching you. Well, you know me. I like to have you do all the hard, boring shit and then tell me the answers. <laughs> well, who's it's smarter? not going to work with this. Who, the, uh, who's smarter, me or you? Who's taking a better <laughs> approach? <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not answering that. Uh, but but here's why that approach will not work for Some this. I'm lazy, is because I say, I'm thinking. <laughs> is because I can tell you about a product like those printers, okay? But in order for you to be successful, you have to learn how to source, read the data, and make good decisions for yourself because I, I can't, nobody else can do that for you. Sometimes these things move so fast. Uh, I mean, already today I've spent, I don't know, a couple thousand dollars on things that were available right now. And, you know, I, I snag them. And this is, again, this is why you have to be, you looked at the data, you learned about the product, you took a look at all the information that was available, and then you had to make a quick decision. Um, one of the things, there were only 12 of them left, and they were backordered for a couple months. So I had to decide now before somebody else snatched them up. And I had to not make a stupid mistake. <laughs> if yeah and then you had to like kind of calculate is it worth tying up that money for a couple months for that profit versus what you right. can buy now and flip because that there's always that oh. time value of money right because anybody yeah. can go hey i'm in uh january i'm gonna buy the shit out of uh christmas decorations and then sit on it until november and uh, make a no. nice profit but no. but you me. gotta ca calculate how much money are you tying up for a whole year to be able to do that and how much could you have turned those dollars over during that time, even if it's for a, a lesser profit per churn, right? So you right. really have to look at that. And sometimes, most times, tying up your money for a long period of time is not a good way to go unless no. it's an obscene return. No, I'm I'm not doing that. You know, people can say, I'm going to buy. In fact, one of the things that popped up today was uh, some Christmas decorations. I am not buying and holding them. I don't yeah. care how much profit you're going to make. I'm not doing that. And also, Damon, please, uh, I have not made, not every purchase has been great, but I have not lost money with every purchase. I have broken even on a couple, and uh, one of them just sold today, in fact. Uh, something I saw at my local hardware store when I was there it was on the clearance table, and I looked at it, and I looked it up, and I thought, oh, man, this is going to be a great deal. That was horrible. 
<laughs> hey, hey, those of us in the rideshare game, we experienced the same thing. We've all taken uh, trips that looked like it was going to be a good trip, and then it was either massive traffic or the restaurant <laughs> You know, took 20 minutes to get the order out. And then by the time you're dropping it off, you're going, I made $5 for 45 minutes of work. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that was a crappy deal. I should not have taken that one. So it happens. I have everything. found, I have found that my worst purchases have generally, and this is probably a reflection of me personally. My worst purchases have been me in person in the store, looking at something on a you know a clearance rack, and making a decision there without having access to all my computer tools to figure it out and make a better decision. That's because the emotion gets more involved. Yeah. I feel like I got to buy this now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So congratulations on uh, losing My your Amazon sale. virginity. Yes. <laughs> and, and I uh, like it. I'm, I'm gonna... excited. Oh, I didn't even tell this quick story. I, on Monday, I went and drove Lyft and Uber. And I knew it was going to be a slow yeah. night, but I, I, I did it anyway. It was stupid. It was against one of my rules. I made a grand total of like $77 and it was like six hours most of the time I spent just sitting at the charger working on my laptop. It's a total waste of time, though, to be out there. And it was a total bummer of a night. And then today I make more than double that with, like, very <laughs> minimal effort. And I still have five more. It's just like, you know, FBA rideshare. It's like, you know, FBA is quickly going to, I think, go whoop, you know. <laughs> and you could still do rideshare, but still do rideshare to get that seed money. And then, you know, put it into something else that you want to grow. Yeah. FBA could be it. Well, you could look around. You could look around and see if there are any more of those printers out there any place. One place to, to use is, this is going to sound stupid, but it's it works well. If you go to Google Shopping, yeah. they have a, a, okay. So go to Google Shopping, put in the, the printer that you're looking for. Make sure that you go down in the options on the left-hand side and check new. And then uh, you can order them by price and you can see if there's anybody out there else selling them at a low price. I can see somebody selling them on eBay for what I've got them listed for on Amazon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the, eBay is not always the cheapest place to buy stuff. It's usually not. They're trying to flip it. <laughs> I, I like on eBay, like if you're looking for video games to flip, uh, there are a number of listings on there that you have to read them very carefully because it'll say something like box only. <laughs> oh, Yeah. <laughs> Basically, scammer is what that was. Yeah, box They're trying only. to trick you into buying the box. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, Damon. Um, I'm going to send you off an assignment to go get those three pieces of software: Seller Amp, Keepa, Source Mogul. I'm going to post the uh, referral links for those three things in the description on this video and post them in the comments as well. And don't feel compelled that you have to click on the link. If you do click on the link. Like I said, buys me maybe a cup of coffee or maybe some cream to put in my coffee. I don't know. Uh, anyway, thank you very much. Damon, I will see you. Congratulations. Peace. All right. <laughs> you lost your virginity. I got something in my ear dinging. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs>